So Marcel here actually went through the pong competition. And I gave up after about two seconds because I had to work. But as you can mm. see, it's Pong in his level There's editor. the ball. There's me. Notice how it's about twice as big as me. Uh, I can change that. One variable. There's my points. Five. I get a point every time I hit it because this is one player Pong right here. Yep. Masturbation Pong. Because Marcel's uh, very, he's very fond of playing with himself. Peter, you're a fag. The newest build of the editor, Peter, let's see you crash it. Debug. Debug. Oh shit, I was supposed to take that out. Here, I'll send you the later build. Alright, now you have the latest build. Now let's see you crash it. Okay. Let's see. Let's do deep. Oh, you do Disabled by administrator. What now? Oh snap. <laughs> Wait, what'd you do? I clicked map attributes. Wait. Oh shit. Uh, here, I'll send you so I just had to show what dumbass over here did. You see that? This is what yeah. happens when you try and sabotage other team members. To explain. <laughs> well, this is... I was trying to make something that closes Marcel's is a level editor. Why would you do that? this is what happened. To make it look like it crashed. Oh. Which I got that where it worked. And then I put a um, while one in this. Or it's always trying to close it, but I didn't anticipate it doing this. I can't even try to click X, it won't even close it. I can get to the task manager, and it's pearls just appearing and disappearing as that's, rapidly as that's the interpreter, right? Yeah, yeah, as rapidly as that. And so, what you were trying to you were trying to end task Marcel's editor when he yeah. when he popped that script, so it looked like it crashed. I think I, I just said he'd lay his build the editor. I tried something here. Ah, get the camera, bring it over here, quick. <laughs> so I just gave him the latest build of the editor, and I told him to crash it. Peter, go ahead. Yeah, and he's added countermeasures for that script I was going to use to crash it. <laughs> countermeasures? All right, explain. Show him. All right, so I have the editor call one of his Perl scripts. Invoke it from right there. It's an external file. Just It'll just launch his Perl All script, right. and you click that. Class menu, he what does like, that say? oh, I'm going to make it crash by replacing that Perl script with a script that would crash it. They would end task everything. You are attempting to launch an external Perl script made by a complete <laughs> dipshit. This may result in loss of system performance or it may cause the editor to crash. And it could very well... <laughs> would you like to proceed by hitting yes, you agree that the results of this mistakery, if of no fault of the editor, but of Peter's poor upbringing and lack of social life that may have compelled him to create such an assified script? I mean, it's full of typos, but yeah. <laughs> so does it work? Well, it can't even find the program now. Wow, I mean, he is in the, drag it is in the, the same, same directory. It is in the you same suck. directory. Show me. Look. Well, if it doesn't run your script, isn't that a success then? That is a success. It's your script. Your script's a piece of crap. Okay, so it's 11.30. I've been working about three hours, and this doesn't seem like much, but this is what I've been working on, or what I have done so far. I have carpet. Yay. Uh... I think so. I have some chairs and sofas. This is being held up by a cinder block. And this one's all stainy and so on. Then I have a countertop and I fixed some of these up. Um, eh, there we go. Counter, 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 and then like an extension. And I'm going to make another version of this so it can be like a one by one tile. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I'm a computer engineering student. And being an engineering student, I often find myself in the engineering building or the computer science buildings. Whether it be studying, doing homework, or the rare occasion I actually socialize, I'm around programmers, coders, nerds in general. And we might be talking about something and, you know, it just comes up. My friends and I are working on a game. And then it's always like, Oh really? You guys are working on an engine for like a video game? Well, I'm I'm in the computer science and I like the program. Uh, m maybe I can come over sometime and you could show me the engine. Uh, I'd like to see if you use uh, proper programming practices and I'd like to analyze your object-oriented designs. 
And then I make the same mistake every single time. It's like, I know how this is gonna end. It's not gonna be pretty. But every time, I'm like, oh, sure, you can come over, you know? We can, uh, we can get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. We can talk about the, uh, finer parts of programming, like two nerds, you know? We'll have a good time, you know? It'll be fun. And then he comes over. Oh, wow, so this is your guy's engine? I can see right here the infinite loop. Oh, okay, you're updating right here. You draw stuff here. Where's your classes at? Oh, okay, I see you have it split it into header files. Okay. Oh, oh, you're inheriting here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, is, is that a singleton? I don't know. My, my professor, he says that singletons, that they're not a very good idea because it, see, it, it destroys the purpose of uh, object-oriented programming, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because uh, you're able to access members when uh, you're supposed to be passing them to functions, you know? Holy crap! It, it, it's also for Dreamcast? How did you guys, how did you do that? Like, how much RAM does Dreamcast have? How much video RAM? Wow! How did you optimize it to run on the Dreamcast? And so, you know, I'm not a complete asshole. Like, I don't have that many friends, so I try and be nice to the guy for, like, maybe 30 seconds. So, I'm going through answering all his questions, like, yeah, I'm updating here, here's where I'm rendering the scene. Yeah, it's also for Dreamcast, it's got... 16 megs of RAM, 8 VRAM, we only get to use 4.5 because, you know, frame buffers, crap like that. But then after 30 seconds, you know, you just, you just get tired of it. You're like, okay, look, man, that, that class, that singleton is debug, and uh, I, I don't give a damn what your professor has to say about that. But he just keeps going on and on. Oh, is that a friend class? Wow, okay, I, I see what you're doing there. But, you know, you should really use friend classes sparingly, my professor says. I only have a few of them. Well, it's actually kind of like real life. I don't have many friends either. So I, I guess there's a correspondence between the amount of friends I have and the amount of friend classes I can use. I don't know. Pe people don't really seem to like me. It's kind of weird. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm looking at the rest of your engine and... Oh, wow! Is that some sort of embedded Lua interpreting system? So you've embedded the Lua scripting language into your engine? Wow! I'm really impressed! Alright. I, I get the idea. You know, I always wondered why they called it Lua. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Harry Potter book or something, like, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Lua, or Harry Potter and the Lua Stone. Like, I don't know. My mom doesn't let me read Harry Potter. She says the witchcraft and wizardry are bad for kids. I, I just don't get it. Okay. Well, actually, now that I think about it, there's a bunch of things my mom won't let me do. Like, she won't let me have a girlfriend, so one time I had to download porn off the internet because... I, I really wanted to know what a vagina looked like, and so I was looking at it, and, and my mom, she came in the room, and she's like, what What the hell are you doing? And I was like, Mom, I, I, I don't know, and she made me format my hard drive. Okay, so after all that, you're sitting there thinking to yourself, oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. Why did I ever invite this guy over? So now you're thinking, how do I get rid of this guy? You're like, maybe I could kill him. No, wait, the cops are getting too smart. Maybe I could drug him. What am I going to do with the body? You have to get rid of him. Trust me, I know how to do it. You tell him. Hey, look, you want to see some of the engine? Okay, so here you can see we're updating NPCs. Here we're updating Lua. We're updating the uh, item system, its physics. Here you can see that we are calculating the area under a curve using Riemann sums. What? What? D did you just say Riemann sums? What? Yeah, man, you know, just like a bit of calculus to, uh, calculate the, uh, collision detection. Oh, 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 you know what? I, I, I really don't know about all this calculus. I, I, you know, uh, um, oh, wow, it looks like my girlfriend's calling. I mean, like, my fake girlfriend, because I, I don't actually have a girlfriend, but yeah, I, I don't think I can handle this calculus, you know? I, I don't think I can do this. We use tangent planes and linear approximations for, uh, for updating the physics system, and uh, to check to see if things collide, you know, we use uh, double integrals over rectangles. I mean, you know, game developers, we use calculus all the time, you know. Calculus is your friend. Yeah, so, you know, I I'm just, I'm just gonna head out like, oh, oh, calculus, I'm out of here. Now, let me assure you, our little nerd friend will never want to come over and look at your game engine ever again.